Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. Today is day one of leaving for the Alaska trip. Yay! Okay, I filled up with gas. The Oasis RV Park is the staging of where I set up and tear down Wanda because PH1 is right there. <laughs> so we filled up with gas and I am trying to figure out how to set the trip meter. I think I found it. No, I did not find it. Okay, it's somewhere in settings. I've got to figure this out. Okay, that was trip A, that's trip B. All right, trip B is the entire trip. From starting right here in the Oasis RV Park, all the way through Canada, Alaska, and then back again here at the Oasis RV Park in October. That's gonna be trip B. Trip A is gonna be daily trips. I don't know. Or maybe when when we get to Alaska at mile mile marker zero, then we know where we're at. Or through Canada. Whatever trip trip A is the wild card. But trip B will be the main mileage indicator. Alright. I still have to take the electrical off Wanda and take out all the stuff that's in the back seat. I do have a feeling that, I have this feeling that I overpacked. <laughs> so throughout the trip, I may be purging the stuff that I overpacked. Okay, electrical cord put away. Now I just have to hitch up and we are headed towards Beaver, Utah. <sighs> yes, these are Ferragamo shoes. I go RVing wearing Ferragamos. Right, let's hitch up. Hello and welcome to Beaver Camper Land. It is a 50 amp, whoop, where is it? There it is. 50 amp water and also sewer down under the dump. But we're not gonna hook any of that up. We're only here for one night and I've got electrical hook up, hooked up so I can have all my electrics. And it's a bit windy, we're out in the campground to be spin around it's dirt but it's compacted gravel and it's bare, it's level I don't even have to level it I did have to level front and back but but sideways no it's perfect the barbie storage bowl over there it's actually nice it's clean there's no bugs. Maybe it's just too windy. So we are going to walk to a Mexican restaurant for dinner. According to the front desk. Front desk? I don't know. Is that the right term? Okay. Only, only knowing hotelology 
and not RVology? I, I don't know what that's called. Is it considered the front desk? Or the, I don't know. What well, my opinion is the front desk. They told me to go to Ricardo's. The guy, <coughs> the guy is originally from Chula Vista. So he looked at me and said, oh, you know where Ricardo's is. It's like, yeah. <laughs> he goes, it's a very good Mexican restaurant, just like Ricardo's. It's like, okay. And also Deborah, thank you, honey, told me about this restaurant also. So I got two recommendations that the Mexican restaurant over here is actually good. So we are just going to walk down the road. It's supposedly it's like a quarter mile. So it'll be good cardio for me. I've been sitting, driving, and napping. I just got up from my nap. So I had I I had to look for a flashlight. I, I did not remember whether I had a flashlight or not. So I have a mag light. Glad about that because there are no lights here after sunset and I lost an hour there's a time there's an hour time change okay it, again the campsite is it's fairly clean it, there's no trash it's compacted gravel so it's not really dirt I have to remember where I am I locked it up so we're going to go for a walk to the restaurant. So they have all these rows for overnighters. pulled over over there in the highway. See it? Hey, look, someone's got pulled over. Oh, speeding. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm getting gas tomorrow over there. Look at this. I'm on a country road. Country road. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is so exciting! The country! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about this! Okay. Alright. Oh, isn't that a country road? Look! It's the country! Alright, there's Wanda. It's a really nice park. Nice and quiet. You do hear highway noise over there, but inside of Wanda, I didn't hear a thing when I was thinking that. So the highway's right there. Again, I'm right off the 15, and this is only overnight. There are no benches. I just noticed that. There are no benches. But again, it's only overnight, so. But I, what is very loud right now are the crickets and birds chirping. These birds are so loud. Do you hear them? Chirp, 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 chirp. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm going to sleep with that. The sounds of nature. Good morning. I apparently slept okay last night without any weapons other than my machete and several knives. It was a really nice, peaceful night. There was no sound other than these birds. There are birds that chirp at night. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Oh, a little too much sometimes. All right, we're going to disconnect. And the next RV park, we will be spending two nights. I need a rest day. So it is the, our, the Pony Express RV Resort up in Salt Lake City, north of Salt Lake City. 
Right, we'll do our impressions there. Now, would I stay here at Beaver Camperland again? The answer would have to be a yes. I would stay here overnight. Anything past overnight, I would say no. But for overnight, it's a, it's a yes. So that is my review section. Yes or no? Would I stay here overnight or not? Is my reviews. Uh, I did notice that there are no public restrooms. <clears throat> so unless you have a restroom in your own rig, you're out of luck. There's no washrooms, there's no showers. This is very basic here. I've already seen about four rigs pull out since I woke up at seven o'clock this morning. So in the past hour, four rigs have pulled out. So I guess they were only here for a short time also. So as an overnight stop, this is a great place. Beaver and there's a great taco Mexican restaurant. I wouldn't even say an eighth of a mile. Just walking down the entrance road. Wonderful. Right, we'll see you at Pony Express RV. Okay, we are currently at Pony Express RV Resort and Campground here above Salt Lake City. Would I stay here again, yes or no? I would have to say no on the spot that I'm in. They put me in a spot that is only 42 feet in length. So I had to unhitch. And I actually did not want to have to unhitch. But there are spots over here, which they're calling premium. And then these are the executive. These sites are a lot nicer. It's the full length. And then these are a lot wider apart. So these are $66 and these are $76. Highway robbery as far as I'm concerned. There are no trash cans. There are two trash cans here, which is over there and over here. It's kind of ridiculous. So you got to drive to the trash can or take it when you're leaving. They do have three showers located in the perimeter of the RV resort, which isn't so bad. But again, I'm not going to use the public facilities. So I would stay here again only if I had a premium site. So where I'm at right now, I would have to say no. Okay, let me show you why it would be a no. Look at this, look how jammed in we are. It's absolutely ridiculous. Right, the guy over here, this site, really inconsiderate. When I first got here and I was unhitching, I stepped on dog shit. So what I did is I rinsed off the entire pad. And also my shoes. And he still has dog shit. Look at this. He just left his dog's shit just laying there. South Carolina, you are absolutely rude. I'm glad you're gone. Okay, those are my two impressions of the two parks that I have stayed in so far for this trip. So, either on to number three or we're gonna post this i'm not really sure yet okay the next park is buffalo meadows rv park and that's only overnight 
we were here for two days for a mandatory one day rest period and apparently I needed it so all right thank you for watching bye